some cast iron, a couple fenders. I'd like to love you every day. I'd like to love you, love you. Ha! I'd like to oh, I'm a, I'm a rich man now. Woo, 12 bucks, 325 pounds of steel, 12 bones. Just quality. guys follow me on Instagram easy enough man got a rad picture right there oh hang on now mmm give me that follow brother in since we're rich now since we have twelve dollars I'm uh we can start our day oh man talk about what was this a mud bogger we mud bogging we in the bog all right what is happening guys welcome back for another video here we just went to the dump got rid of a bunch of stuff which is long overdue that stuff was probably sitting in the BMW for about a week or more. Uh, today we're gonna continue off with the budget build, guys. We have a lot of progress to get done today. We're gonna go ahead and continue sanding, filling, maybe even get to painting some stuff and pri you know, pri uh, priming, painting, and undercoating some stuff. We'll see where we get to today. A lot of progress to be made. Quickly, before we hop into today's work, we're gonna go over the parts we need again for this build, because there are clearly a few. Um, the biggest thing we need first and foremost, guys, is if any of you guys can help me, would really appreciate it. We need the full body chassis harness for the car. It starts behind the dash, makes its way all the way to the tail lights, and does it even go to, no, the we also need the fuse box, which controls all the front, the lights, everything up front, like literally all the wiring we need. So if you guys have any parts cars, anything locally around you that you guys can maybe go grab or pick up at a scrap yard, I would seriously appreciate it. We could work something out, let me know, because I want to get this done as soon as possible, but now once we finish the rust, then we kind of have a bit of a, a dilemma because we don't really have a next thing to move to just yet. Now the motor should be coming soon. All right, so hopping into today's work. If you guys would have missed yesterday's video or the day before, the previous build video, make sure you guys go check it out because otherwise you might not understand what the hell is going on here. What's going on here? What's all the commotion about here? You know, just uh, putting on this. Now, if I come in there and I get that in within within 10 seconds. Oh, I guarantee you will. <laughs> I'll be pretty pissed. Pretty okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, whoa, look at you, brother. Sometimes you just gotta go it's reverse. Reverse, you know? Reverse action. I was following that TJ method. Remember that? Keep Remember? moving forward. No. And no. Everything backwards. Watch this. Ready for this? A little pounder. Swole over there, brother. Dude. <laughs> getting, getting, getting pumped up. Oh. All right, 
Alright guys, what is up? It's been a while since we've uh, we've last spoken, right? So we're doing our last, I just chopped out this piece, doing our last, I guess, patchwork. We just keep finding stuff. Um, so here is our patch piece. Um, this is the front, and it goes like this. So you guys are probably wondering, you know, what are all these holes for? As you guys can see, this right here is actually one of the actual supports or braces or sleeves for the subframe bolt that holds this, the front subframe to the chassis. Now, this was spot riveted, uh, spot welded, whatever, um, to the actual frame of the car. So that's essentially, I marked out holes and every one of these holes lines up to the actual frame rail and we are going to essentially spot weld the plate to the actual car. Therefore, it's a whole lot stronger, everything's a lot more rigid, everything's still connected how it should be, and uh, we're not losing any structural, you know, rigidness. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, well, I mean, God, we got a lot done in this video. Um, obviously, just a quick recap, we got this whole side completely finished up, painted up, looking really nice. Now, obviously, we still have to, you know, deal with our frame rails. Um, but um, we got the whole engine bay besides, still got to do the battery tray panel, still working on that. But put some bed liner kind of paint down there at the footwell, just to kind of help, you know, so we don't wear it out so quickly. Um, and then we also just, you know, everything on the inside is essentially done. Now we're just going to go ahead and clean everything up and um, keep on moving. I hope you guys enjoyed the progress here. And I um, hope you guys are just kind of, you know, enjoying this build in general. Um, now, if you guys missed the last video, we got a new shop coming. So make sure you guys go check that video up. And uh, this will be eventually be transferring over there. So we'll have a really nice work zone uh, very soon. But um, just be patient with that. But as always, guys, I really do appreciate your support. You guys are absolutely epic. And um, this build is going to continue to kind of progress here throughout the week. Just basically just waiting for parts now, honestly, guys. Um, if any of you are out there with parts that are available, if you guys have stuff that I can use, that I can buy, please hit me up. Um, really kind of need your support with this one, guys. Mainly wiring. I told you guys that already. And obviously everything else, essentially. So... <laughs> If you guys have a parts car, please hit me up. We have a lot of stuff happening here very soon in the future, guys. A lot of big changes, all awesome stuff happening for the 240, coming very, very soon once we move into our shop, which I am so excited for. Can't wait to just make the shop mine, decorate it, you know, fit it up with everything that we need, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So if you guys could go ahead and subscribe, if you guys have not yet done so already, like this comment, drop a comment down below. Like this comment, like this video, <laughs> drop a comment down below, share this with your friends guys, honestly it would really help kind of get the word out there about the channel. We're so close to 70,000 subscribers, so please help me get there as soon as possible and uh, hopefully we can get to 100,000 this year. That's the plan, that's the goal, high dreams, high hopes, high goals, that's, that's how it's got to be, right? So, <laughs> but for real, thank you guys for watching, I'm not going to hold you guys here too much longer. Really appreciate your support. I'm hustling, I'm grinding, I'm doing what I can. If you guys have any video ideas that you guys want to see, drop them down below as well. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.